Greetings, everyone. My name is Lizzie, and I would personally like to thank you for joining me today to watch my video and also for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Your support is greatly appreciated. So in case you were wondering how I got started in woodworking, uh, what you're about to see here is really how I got passionate about the craft and building things. Um, I've had an interest my whole life and I've done many smaller projects. So I did have a basic knowledge of how power tools and machinery work um, without being too intimidated or scared of hurting myself in the process. You could say that the woodworking interest runs in my family um, many ge generations back, along with art in general. I have tried many forms of art and um, pretty much like them all. Uh, so my theory is, is that if you like something and you learn how to do it, you do it well and you keep doing it. Practice makes perfect. Um, that's where I am in this point of my life. Um, I, I really like making fun pieces and sharing them. And um, I also get a, a feel of happiness when I can sell something or give something away to the people that I love. And uh, it's, it's like giving a part of myself and um, having purpose in my life, basically. Um, so that being said, I created this video. Well, it's it's more of a photo montage of a project um, that got me started, and unfortunately, it was several years ago. So this was before the video idea even entered my mind. So um, I apologize for not having live pictures, but um, the photos are pretty good. My husband and I purchased a property back in the early 2000s. It was a beautiful land property with lots of outside space for our two huskies and close to the coast, so the view was really gorgeous. The house that was there was in need of serious remodeling and that's exactly what we did. Uh, we're not builders by any means, so we contracted a builder just to do the major work and we would take care of the rest. The first thing that sparked the creativity was bringing home some wood planks that were left in the old um, house closet usable wood that I didn't want to go to waste. I really wanted to try build something out of it and I had the idea of making a small vanity for one of the bathrooms. Um, as you can see from the picture, it came out okay. In addition to constructing it, I also painted it with a mural of an English estate on the doors. And that led to another vanity, then lots of doors cabinets, a bar, fireplace mantles, shelves, stair railings, window valances, and even some furniture. All the doors that I did make in the house had a rustic uh, gothic theme to them. So they had gothic arches and some of the doors included um, panels that we found in an architectural salvage place of winery scenes. And I used these in the doors and the bar. Many years ago, my husband was in the restaurant business and he always wanted to put a pizza oven in the kitchen, so that's what we did. 
and the cabinetry was built around that oven and was built by a cabinet maker. Um, I did finish off the cabinets with a custom stain job and had some chainmail panels. Uh, I, I made the chainmail panels for the doors in the pizza oven on the bottom that were brass and copper. Even the outside space was considered a passionate endeavor. I built structures for sitting areas, complete with bridges, uh, cobblestone pavers, and some post-topping griffins, and even included some stones we picked up from Ireland to add to the patio area. How I wish I had known about YouTube back in those days when I had started this project. It would have made for a wonderful um, home renovation series. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching it and um, got an idea of how my journey began as a woodworker. And I hope you will continue to um, follow my channel and watch some of my fun projects. Some are kind of wacky, um, some are practical, and um, you know, my mind is always turning and I've got uh, some crazy ideas that I have yet to share with all of you, and I do appreciate your support very much. Um, I would like to um, tell you one more thing before I go, and this is something that I heard many years ago. There's no sadder thing in life than talent wasted. Um, you got to make the most of your interest. If you don't know how to do something, there are so many opportunities to learn. You can watch TV shows. You can watch YouTube. You can take a class. You can read a book. Um, just learn to do something. It makes your life have purpose and you feel a great sense of accomplishment. And you never know what you're capable of unless you try it. And don't give up the first time. If it doesn't work, just try again until you get it right. So with that being said, um, thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful and creative day.